A major environmental organization is suing the state of Vermont for failing to meet legally mandated pollution reduction goals. The legislature intentionally opened the door for the state to be sued when it passed the Global Warming Solutions Act four years ago. Our Calvin Cutler is live in our Montpelier Bureau. Calvin, what's the basis of the lawsuit? Yeah, good evening. The Conservation Law Foundation is suing the Agency of Natural Resources, alleging that the state is not on track to meet its climate benchmarks. But this lawsuit is once again raising questions about how many resources and how much money the state should be putting toward knocking down our carbon emissions versus preparing for the effects of climate change. The Conservation Law Foundation is taking Vermont to task, alleging it's misrepresenting its carbon emission data. CLF claims the state is showing it's on track to meet an upcoming pollution reduction goal in 2025, when it actually isn't. Climate change is here, and it's time for us to be honest with Vermonters about the realities of that and transparent about what policies we're undertaking and what those policies are doing in terms of cutting our own emissions. Elena Mahali with CLF says the lawsuit, which is not seeking money as damages, is aimed at forcing the state to accelerate its carbon cutting efforts. In 2020, state lawmakers overrode Governor Phil Scott's veto on the Global Warming Solutions Act, which requires we reduce our pollution to strict standards or face a lawsuit. They want honesty and they want accuracy in terms of where we are to date and what the projected emission line is for, for reductions in the future. CLF put the state on notice this summer, but just filed the lawsuit in Washington County Superior Court Tuesday. We may have pushed a little too hard too fast. Agency of Natural Resources Secretary Julie Moore wouldn't comment directly on the allegations, but told us earlier this summer that the agency stands by its data. She also says the Global Warming Solutions Act is creating goals that are moving faster than the state and Vermonters can keep up with. We need literally to invest billions of dollars in, in infrastructure and need to be thoughtful about how we go about that work. Moore points out that even if Vermont spent billions on decarbonizing overnight, climate change driven floods would still happen. She says Vermont needs a balanced approach. If we overinvest on the greenhouse gas emissions reduction side at the expense of the work we know we need to be doing on the resilience side, um, I think Vermonters are, are going, it's a disservice to Vermonters in the near term. But Mahali with CLF says fighting climate change is a collective issue. By nature, you know, that part is going to have some impact on our way of life. But I think that we owe it to future generations to be doing everything that we can right now. This marks the first of what could be several lawsuits, including on other global warming benchmarks, if we miss them. You know, the Attorney General's office is representing the state of Vermont in this lawsuit, but even then, as this lawsuit proceeds, the Conservation Law Foundation says that settlement talks are not off the table. Reporting in our Montpelier Bureau, Galvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.